solo right here there are about three or four maybe things that I want you to know about this real quick and then I'm gonna play to a slow drum loop I'm gonna play the solo in context for you very slow all right and then I'm gonna give you the tabs and the drum loop and the original clip that when you get it up to speed you could work on this uh, there's so much juice inside this one little solo lesson here all right I want you to uh, Get your guitar out and work on these shapes with me. Work on these little scales and see how it all pieces together, okay? And you'll see the psychology and how it flows together and all these transition licks within it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. I guess I should mention that this um, solo is from the program called The Black Box that I did. A while back. It's a collection of all the best of the best of Doug Seven and Sizzling Guitar Licks for over a decade, okay? It's a nice little collection. So I'm going to be teaching from that today. Um, and the lessons in here, I'm going to refer to the three pillars of the soloing system, uh, which is another huge course of mine. It's like a flag flagship product, if you will, um, that everybody really loves. If you don't have that, you need to get that. It'll help you understand everything that I play, all right? So let's dive into this real quick. Come down here to A. This song is in A, and the chords are, it starts in A, and then C, and then D, and then F. All right? It's pretty cool. Um, so uh, there's a couple things I, I want you to know. In the three pillars of sewing system, I show you all the different positions, okay? Like A, that's an A7, but you know, A, 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 and then A. There's all these A's, okay? Well, around each position right here, there's a scale. Go down here. Go down to this one. Go down to this one. Uh. And this one. All right, there's a scale in each position. And you can make a billion solos out of, out of just knowing that. If the song is a whole chord progression out of A, D, and E, and F, and all this, you can stay in just the one a understanding in this entire framework of A and create a thousand jillion solos, all right? That's the whole, um, that's the gist, all right? So let's get back to this particular solo. Um, I like it because I cover this position, cover this, this, and this, all in like the first couple seconds, all right? Two, three, four. Okay, so right here, I'm thinking of this position, so, and now I'm in this position. And then I'm quickly moving down to this position, which will be like the A7. Okay. Now I'm in this position. Okay. And here's a cool little um, technique that I love to use in these in these normal um, little scales like this, like the blue scale or the regular pentatonic scale. It's a little trill. Okay, 
This has two put together, which is kind of cool. <laughs> What I'm doing in the video covers, so it covers all them frets. Okay, but I don't suggest that. That's a little hard, and it's un, it's an unnecessary note thrown in there, in my opinion. Okay. All you need. So let me point out, I'm in this position, this one, this one, this one, and I go right back. I mean, it's just, it goes down and then back up. This is what I'm thinking while I'm playing this, okay? I'm kind of seeing it in my mind. Okay. Now's where it goes to C. D and F. So C. I'm in this position of C. I just transposed the whole pillars of soloing um, simple framework, okay? So it goes to C. Okay? So I'm in this position of C and that position of C. It works the same for every chord, guys. And then there's a transition into the D. So C, then D. And then in this part, I did a cool little, um, I don't know how you would do the timing on that, little triplets, I guess. Yeah, triplets uh, in a diminished. Okay. This is an, if you want to look at it, it's a D sharp diminished, but um, it's, it's, it's over the F. So when it goes to the F, I'm playing it's an F sharp diminished, which is the same as a D sharp diminished, okay? There's only three diminished scales, all right? Because they overlap. Um, so I'm thinking since it's an F chord that we're landing on right here, it goes C, D, F. I'm going to think F sharp diminished, okay? A lot of times, I don't know why because I'm not educated this way, but a lot of times, whatever key you're in, if it's not the root key of the song, whatever key you're in, uh, the sharp diminished of that key will resolve back into the one pretty cool, all right? So if you're in A, let's say D. The D sharp diminished resolves back into the one, which is A, pretty cool, all right? Don't want to get teaching too much, all right? So where was I? The C. Then the diminish. Back into the A. So from F. Okay. C, D, F, A. A lot of open strings there. Lots of going from this position to this one. Okay. So let's go back to the C real quick, and then I'll just fire up the the drum loop, give you the tabs the drum loop and the uh, the backing track clip. I don't want to make this too long and boring for you. I want you to grasp the the system though. I'm, I'm it just obsessed with helping you understand the system that I'm using here, all right? The thinking around it. And what I'm actually seeing, I'm not seeing scales, I'm not seeing modes. I, I'm just seeing shapes with the notes around those shapes that I like to use, all right? They're a hybrid scale that I'll show you in the three pillars of soloing system, all right? 
I might show it in the black box as well too, I can't remember. But from the C. And it ends on the G right there before it goes. All right, let's fire up that drum loop. Download your stuff and work on this, all right? Slow it down if you need to. There's, there's um, several apps and programs out there that'll slow down audio for you. Um, it's free stuff, you know. Just look it up. Um, thanks for joining me today. I hope you got a lot out of this. And get the black box if you don't have it. Absolutely look into the three pillars of the soloing system. Go ahead and Google that if you're not familiar with that already. I think we have a payment plan and everything on it. You need to get that, all right? So little plugs uh, for my stuff, and I hope you enjoyed this, and download your stuff. I'll talk to you soon.